Ever since I started going to the gym, my arms have always been the most prominent part of my physique. Bro's arm is made of titanium. But they haven't always been this way. Growing up, I've always been very skinny, even throughout the whole of high school. And it wasn't until the age of 17 when I managed to bulk up my arms ridiculously quick. And before I knew it, I had massively grown my arms by the time I was turning 18. From what seemed an impossible task of managing to add mass to my arms, when all you've known them to be are twigs, for all my skinny guys out there, or anyone wanting to get bigger arms, from one originally skinny guy to another, how exactly did I do it? Now, when it comes to building your arms, people immediately think of your biceps and go pick up a dumbbell and start curling it. And then just go into the rabbit hole of ego lifting to prove to others that you can curl them. But the recipe for growing bigger arms is hidden in the tricep, purely down to the fact that the triceps make up over 70% of an arm's total mass. So if it's the triceps we need to work, then how do we really focus on growing it? Traditionally, I'm a massive fan of compound lifts, and in this case, the bench press, which is an exercise I currently do two to three times per week. However, when I was bulking up and I wanted to really grow my arms, I would do an alternative to the bench too, of what is known as the close grip bench press. For this, I would do it on a Smith machine, just to make each rep more controlled and really put tension on your triceps. I wouldn't stack the weight up too much, but I would do reps to failure, and it was always a great way to get that tricep pump. Now, as compound movements go, another one that I still do regularly are dips, but to put the difficulty up a level, I do weighted dips. Again, for this, I'll just keep going until failure, and I find that this is the best way to put as much weight as possible onto your triceps. But even without the extra weight, with just your body weight alone, this is a great way to really build up your arms as well as your lower chest. After doing these two exercises, I like to focus on each arm at a time, just to really focus on the individual muscle and more so to make sure that you don't get an imbalance with the compound lifts. And the first way I do this is by doing is what's known as the single seated slash one arm overhead dumbbell tricep extension. Yeah, that one's a bit of a mouthful. This is an exercise I've been doing for years and I like it because it forces you to really stretch that tricep behind your head. And it's one you have to be controlled with. Otherwise, you just get stuck with it. Again I make sure to not go too heavy and really slow down my reps. And once I've done this I like to do a variation of the tricep extension this time being the standing bent over one arm dumbbell tricep extension. Again this allows you to really focus on each individual tricep but now as you're working it from a different angle I find that it really stretches out the long head of the tricep even further from the seated extension and again gives you that overall tricep pump. Now of course there are other alternatives to work in the tricep and it's good to vary it it up but these are the ones I mainly stick to the most and are what I stuck to when I managed to bulk my arms up within such a short amount of time. Now I know I basically said to ignore them but an arm workout wouldn't be complete without working the biceps. A lot of people have jumped straight into working them isolated like on a spider curl machine but where the beauty of compound lifts come in I've always stuck to doing pull ups and chin ups. This way you're putting all of your body weight on your upper body strength and like with the dips I like to add some weight but naturally when doing back day you'll work your biceps a lot more than you think. So you really don't need to be spending loads of time focusing just on your biceps. And instead of spending loads of time on isolated bicep exercises, switch up and focus more on compound lifts and you'll find that you'll hardly ever need to do a bicep curl again. And to complete the arm workout, we can focus on the forearms. Again, you'll naturally work these with most back exercises, but one thing I like to do now and again to really get a forearm pump are wrist extensions. This allows you to really isolate the forearms and give you that tight pumped look when you decide to roll up your sleeves and flex like a geek in public. Now outside of the gym, the final ingredient to getting bigger arms, especially in a short amount of time, is to go on a bulk. That's exactly what I did for a whole year just by staying in a calorie surplus that then added mass to my arms extremely quick. But of course, staying on a bulk isn't sustainable and I'd never do it for a long time for multiple health reasons such as acne and just from having the increased fat on your body, especially around the face for me. But coming out of the other side from this, from what I've now been a couple years from being on a bulk, I now have a similar body fat percentage to what I was when I was originally skinny, but now my arms are way more defined than ever before. And there's no better feeling to when you fill out a t-shirt that was once oversized. 